what's up guys international o back at it uh two two that's right two unboxes i'm unboxing two shoes and they're both a jordan six not the same shoe same silhouette so let's get to the first one first one i mean everybody and their mama got them of course i had to make sure i get my pair even though nike got me Nike finesse me on these. I ain't gonna trip, but they finesse me. They uh, I had a gift card, so when these dropped, I paid for it with the gift card, but they charged my credit card instead. So they they pulled the ultimate finesse. I'm gonna put the knife to the side because I'm gonna unbox another pair. So they pulled the ultimate finesse. They got me, but here we go. Jordan box. You see it? Let's get them open. I actually haven't even seen these in person. I didn't even go to the store this weekend to see them because I knew I had them coming and I didn't want to ruin it. Here we go. Jordan 6 infrareds. The glue on these sixes be strong, boy. Not strong with a T with a S-C-R. Strong, cuz. But yeah, you can check these out, man. Um my honest opinion don't look they they not as hot pink as the other ones were from 2014 but they still got a little touch of a little bit they still look a little pink ish but uh solid can't complain solid shoe no complaints here on my end man as you can see it has a clear sole you know what i'm saying clear bottom has an air pocket in here the air unit as you can see that's like a white, a milky, clear white. And this is what made these 200 instead of 190, the Nike Air on the back. Uh, had to have them, man, a classic, as you can see on the side here. Just this is all around classic shoe. They bought these around a couple of times, but it's a classic. Damn, that glue is loud. But this is a classic kick, man. So you gotta have a, one of the years in your collection. Uh, I know a lot of people were saying that they were going back to the original infrared where it was like a darker red. It kind of, it's kind of close. Still has a look, has a little pink look to it to me, but these are dope and I will be wearing these. Shout out to Nike for the cop. The next shoe, this one uh, was, is supposed to drop tomorrow tomorrow i think on the sneakers app um they had an online drop well actually the shoe was only supposed to be released in charlotte for all-star weekend last week when which it was but they also made this shoe available online as well on their stores website i remember i won a couple raffles here when they had to ship me the shoe and this they they tape and box the hell out of this so shout out to the good people at social status because um i've won a few raffles there and uh actually got lucky online trying to pick this shoe up i thought it was gonna sell out quick so i i, I got the fingers moving quick and was able to get my pair um but they restocked twice on this shoe since it dropped on valentine's day they restocked on it uh, later on that afternoon and then it restocked again um shit like i think yesterday yesterday the day before or something like that so let me remember how this box because you gotta like kind of pull it and flip it out and pop it under it's a very unique box it's not like your normal box where you just cut it through the top and get through it it's a little different you know what i'm saying so bear with me but yeah so also you can check out my blog man, i have a blog international o no it's a can o kick it put it right here in the description and you can see that can o kick it dot com where not only do i post these videos but i also try to do a little writing i used to write for um a couple of hip-hop well not hip-hop but a couple of music blogs and music sites so i kind of gave um trying to get back into writing man i gave my views and my thoughts on all-star weekend releases because i know a few people that went to charlotte and they were like i mean i could have stayed home for this because 
they got the same releases that we got here you know whatever city you're from they didn't get anything that was extravagantly different from what the normal consumer got now you know last year in la you got releases that was like april or may i mean like well march and april releases that were available to people but this year they didn't really do that i just saw people get like some utility jordans and a uh, jordan 720 i saw seth follow those shout out to seth follow those are actually dope i might snatch a pair up it's my receipt so with all that out the way here we are you see the box air jordan 6 retro sp colors is black dark concord and noir so if you can see that dope box very dope box so shout out to the good people at social status shout out to james whitner pronouncing his name correct uh he founded social status man a shout out to him i met him when they had the opening here in houston i didn't know who he was i just know he was out there putting everything together but shout out to him and shout out to the good people at social status yes let me smell this one has that glue smell, but it's not as loud as the infrareds. But these, yeah, yeah. You know I gotta say it. I gotta say it. These joints are hard, hard. Funny, I saw a lot of people online talking about the shoe because they restocked on it. And of course, the resellers oh well it's gonna break and they're ugly you know i guess now people base a shoe on if it doesn't have resale value well not now they've been on it if it does have resale value it's ugly i don't care if this shoe was selling for below retail resale wise i love it it's a dope shoe the concept is dope the patterns you see the snake print here on the side and it has a glossy feel to it it's, it's kind of like um i wouldn't even say a leather it has a nice feel and then you got the pony hair right here you rub that it's like you at a petting zoo you know what i'm saying you just petting the animal and rubbing it across the head as you just sit here then on the back it has the nike air with the rabbit hair i mean to my rabbit hair with the pony hair i'm guessing this pony hair i don't know what kind of hair it is but i'm guessing uh horse hair pony hair moose skin i don't know but it's dope. I don't care what kind of hair it is. As long as don't nothing jump out and bite me and shit. I'm cool with it. This is a dope shoe. I like the dark purple hints at the bottom. And the lace lock is also a dark purple. And the Jordan Man logo is purple. Now, me, what I do with my lace lock, I take the lace lock off and I always put it down here. So you will see that lace lock down there when I decide to wear them. I hate I have to unlace the whole shoe just to do it. But that's what I do. That's how I rock it. Now, I did like that on the Champagne and Cigar 6s. They put it on there automatically. Y'all should do that with all Jordan 6s. It's dope. That's how I like it. This shoe is nice. Retail was $250 on this one. $250. But in my honest opinion, it was worth it, man. It's, it's nice quality. The quality of this shoe is in sane and the air pocket as you can see here in the inside of the air pocket if i'm not mistaken it's purple as well see the purple or black can't really see it here at the bottom you have the dark purple well concord uh jumpman logo with the clear sole dope shoe no complaints on my end if you like the review go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel and tell others about it and I will see you guys probably tomorrow because Nike has a sale right now. And if you go to Nike, use Sport 30, you get 30% off uh, your purchase of $150. I think you get $30 off $150, something like that. But my purchase was $180 and I got it for $150. So I'll have those tomorrow. Check that out. Till then, you guys be cool.